Happy New Year! <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for the love and support that you continue to give me. The channel is cool from the bottom of my heart, from the bottom. My heart from the bottom of my heart from the okay anyways <laughs> thank you so much guys for subscribing and to you who has not yet done that please do me the honors and subscribe so guys firstly before i continue my name is abongwe but you can call me ab um ab bange and yeah think Hey, man, what you The thing is, Galoko, I haven't done this <laughs> in the longest time ever. And I apologize for that. But yeah, um, Happy New Year once again. Happy New Year. And I'd like to send some love and light to everyone who has lost a loved one in this past year. As a U2020. Yo, guys, we entered U2021 in a very strange way. Yes. Because normally, Nange, 31st. Got to say I'm at church, you know, come nanti, come nanti, come nanti, you know, entering a new year. But this year, I, begunga go gushle, begunga go gushle. Um, we are preparing for a burial of my spiritual father. So yeah, but yeah, man, silapa ngoko, silapa ngoko, and we thank God for the gift of life, and we thank God for the grace. You know, in in this journey and yeah everything but anyways so now i'm guys i want to share with you um it's a story such a job i know a lot of you guys have been waiting to hear and um the fact that it was my very first time to go to jobek very first time ever so yeah here's the story guys so it was in 2017 when a sister of mine sent me a poster with um the um, e auditions in job exam what is it women in praise so cool and i was like her all my life all my life i have been like mm -mm, man i don't think in those auditions in those um so my thing mm -mm, so my thing and i remember when i was still in east london i think it was 2014 if not 2015 when the way I want to sing gospel auditions, my classmates were like, please, I want to go. We're going to support you. And I was like, you guys, <laughs> so the thing with me was all about wanting to be ready before I could do it. You know, with everything, I need to be ready. Yeah, but like to just prepare, prepare my mind, prepare my heart, you know, for everything that was going to happen. So at that time, I was like, ah, uh -uh, I'm correct, so I don't want to do this thing. Yeah, well, sorry, any guys, yeah, as Nina, you mean well, but unfortunately, until I'm ready, I'm not going to any auditions. Fine, okay. So in 2017, I think I was then ready when um, I got this poster and I was like, okay, cool, let me register for this. I registered because before um, one could go and audition, you needed to register online. And they were taking about only 200 people to register. Um, I mean, to audition for the one spot. I mean, one. <laughs> but okay, fine, cool. I did this thing. I registered. And mind you, I don't have money. I'm a student. I do not have money, but um, I'm going to Jobek. Okubanjani, I don't know. So here's the thing. I spoke to God about it and I was like, Father, I want to go to this thing. Um, I think they were my second auditions. I I couldn't again as in the Pike Cape Town. So I was like, God, let's do this thing. Let's just do this thing so that I, I can get over this whole thing of fear and whatever. Yeah, well, I think I'm ready now to receive whatever criticism that is going to come out there, you know, because not all criticism is bad criticism so i was like the rating the right i can do this thing but now the problem is i'm going to jobek i've never been to jobek fine but then i am going i prayed and so here's the thing that was happening is that um at my church at the time we were we 14 days fasting i think it was the first seven days but yeah and I was like, I'm not going to cut e e fasting. I'm going to continue with it. I'm going to go to these auditions. 
<laughs> you know? So I was like, okay, fine, cool, let me do this thing. And then I remembered there's a friend of mine, Olukona, that is in Jobek. I called her, Luka, I'm thinking of coming to visit you, man. And then she was like, okay, please do come, Uzanini. And then I told her, I didn't tell her that I'm going to the auditions. <laughs> I just told her I'm coming to visit her. I lied. Anyways, okay, fine. Oluko was happy to have me, so I was like, cool, accommodation de grand. But now, chalete, you go here. You know God, he must take on in. Yeah, and God made a way, made a way that I get in my. I told um, my mom, yes, I think I told my family, yeah, well, because I'm going through these things. I get fine, cool. And my dad also came through. And of course, sure, I waited, I mean, but he was like, okay. Fine. I went to um, Jobek. I took a bus. I don't know. Sasumi said, hey guys. So I got off the bus to go to, to the loo. And figure Payan. I went to the phone. That toilet paper thingy. In the toilet paper holder. Whatever it is. So, I went to the phone. Mind you, I do not know the number. I do not know um, I still need to request an Uber when I get there. Like, I'm just waiting then, but no can't get a gay phone. Deliver the bathroom. I got back to a bassini. Wow, sex a wanjo. The kumbule man, where's my phone? I started searching, and if my phone, I asked the lady next to me, have you seen my phone? She's like, no, you took it with you when you go into the bathroom. I was like, okay, let me go find it. The call is in a pume Um, I got, um, into the bathroom and then opened so young give me young so so i can find my phone and there it was on top of that thing and then i took my phone i was relieved and then i got back a person i said it's a true true and did you get guys a person yo i'm a fool person i was most but my kfc but my milk was always always no other man mokel is on a fast like said zima yeah but it's fine. I'm praying. I start praying. Fine. I can go back rent. I think after six, um, yeah, but only fruit and veg because we're on a Daniel fast. I can fine. I started praying. After that, I took out my fruit. Thank you, fruit. I'm the salamans. I'm the grand. So I could make an itch any year until we got to Jobek the following day. I think it was 17 hours. Means that the flight, flight in Dondi Kule bus. 17. 17 hours younger, guys. This person, if I'm okay. But yeah, I got to Jobek my very first time. I got to a park station. Your doom. Yo, please land out. Okay, fine. I can make it. I'm not acting. I think down the yasik. Bon. And this and Jambis bike say. And was lying with Putin. So I can find, take my glasses. And then this lady takes me to the bathroom because um, I needed to freshen up. I didn't really tell her, but I was telling her that, and you could show me I'm as Ngalum Zuzu. So I need to just change my fresh because it means it's all Fine, I can freshen up the bathroom. Okay. Um, fine. All right. Um, I requested an Uber. Hey, a pen will I open it? I see the park station. Come, hello. Need to know. I said, Lucy, you know, we need to go up somewhere, P P P, to find it, because Abasas, Apa, Baya, Baya, Twa, Yonke, Lando. Hey, na come, Yazi. I thank God for that lady. I really thank God for her, because Oba Ibenge, I don't know, Benzo team. And then one car park here to this place where I could find an Uber. I requested again, and then there was a guy um, waiting for me there. And then I got in, um, and I'm quite like a band app. Obviously, you could see the app where I'm going. He took me to the audition venue. I got there, and then there were like, I think, four ladies in front of me. Got there, and then I greeted them, and they're like, hi. And then they continued doing more than those I'm going to do. I'm trying also almost so good for this year. And then at Quebec again, mini, we got in for, for the auditions. I was the first 10 to audition. Yo, guys, I went up there. And then they were like, the judges. And I'm like, yes. You from Cape Town? No. Nah, mm -hmm. All the way from Cape Town for just the auditions. I'm like, eh, anyway. Like, okay. Take it away. Okay, fine. Let me take it away. You guys want to... 
hear what I was saying there. <laughs> so I sang, guys. Yo, nani, I've never in my entire life sang all the songs I'm going to be playing. Then I'm going to be playing. It was like, I'm out of my body, but I'm the one singing. I don't know what was happening there, but God was just getting And the first round went well. Um, and then I was a part of the top six. Yes, Ben's the top six. The, the first day, mind you, but from day one, <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm cool. And there was very nice man, it was so nice. And amongst the judges, the late um, Pastor Nazim, oh god, a bit into the tip. So Quick, 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 second round, guys. Good to Bayan. Man, Gule, Ingoma. That will allow EEE backing vocalists. Umanyogo did not have any song in Mondwin. Quas Ngoma Zinga, I had none whatsoever. And I decided to sing. Ngoma would do. But they didn't even know. And then Nay was like, um, let's give her and the others another chance. Um, so that thing I'm singing, that thing I'm fast, and they were like, please sing a song that people can um, join you, call you. And then I sang. I guess he saw something, you know, um, and he explained it to me the following day what it was that he saw. Fine, okay, guys. So the first day, yeah, yeah, Ganjalo with me being in the top six. Okay. Damn, again, Daya, um, where was Luko staying? Campton Park. I went to Kempton Park, uh, then I got to tell her, and then she was so excited, she was so, she was so excited, and then we prayed, and then we slept. While sleeping, I think, I had a dream, and in this dream, I'm being told that, unfortunately, you did not make it. There's a person standing with a paper or a page, and they read out my name and they were like, unfortunately, you did not make it this time. Hey, that forget saying, guys. I got to pray what you look at the Even if I have to say so myself. I mean, and in the good prayer. That forget saying that. Hi, hi, hi. Develis. I started praying. I was like, no. I told Look about the dream. I said, I said, look. I saw it. I saw that. Yeah, yeah. Satana is trying to scare you. Na 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 na. Fine. Um, and then I made my way to a uh, midrip. Get to the um Spirit of Prayer Studios. I think we got there. And hi right, guys, is that jiggy zindo? Niyakumula must I said that the first auditions um the previous day I felt man ma the way I'm doing the things, but now. The second day, my voice was gone. Voice gone. And I was like, hmm? What's going on? Fine. But I went there and I sang and I could even feel it while I'm singing. But mm -mm, it's not it. And I was okay. I don't know. I was so calm. I just knew. No. We're not. We're out. We're out in your pain. Fine, and the other ladies sang okay, yo beautiful voices, guys. Yes, yes. Hey, get cool out there. And then when we were done, um, I it was like um, oh, Pastor Naked to give us the results. Um, they did not make it, and then what my nick is like a point, uh, a points on like what is it that they did wrong and how can they improve. And then he got to me and he was like, Abongwe. And I'm like, Yes. Oh no, before he told me, he skipped me and the other lady next to me. And he went to the last lady. And then he told her that, um, Congratulations, we are taking you to be part of a women in praise. Yo, she was so happy. And then she started screaming, she ran out, you know, man, yo, yo, and she could sing. Oh, 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 oh. 
Okay, truth be told, she was the only person, Payana Gaza auditions, that when I listened to her, I was like, that's a competition. I need to And um, I don't, I'm not going to mention her name because, um, I don't know, but yo, that woman can sing. Yo, 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 yo. Ah, yeah, okay. <laughs> but she sang. And I remember when I first heard her sing, I was done Muslim and like waiting for, for the other people. And I was, I think I was having a conversation with my, my family and they're asking me how the audition is going. And I was like, there's only one, one lady here that I'm like, sick competition, me and her, you know, um, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it that this one is not going to let it, this thing be easy. I shame. I was we, we must be honest. We must be very honest in life. <laughs> she has an amazing voice. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, I, okay, fine. I said, she sang. And when um, she was told, like, Parad Gretu, that she's the one that they're taking, I was like, I, I give it to her. She, yay. Was alone. But anyways, um, so yeah, when um, they told her that they're taking her, okay, fine, we were happy for her, clapping and all of that. And then Pastor Ney came back to ask it. There were only two of us. And then he spoke to the other lady, how she did, she was good. Like all of us were good guys, we were good. And then he came to me and he was like, Abongwe, I don't know what happened today. I don't know what happened to your voice, number one, because it was not in good condition. And now I'm shame umba. Yeah, me also, Sani, I don't know what happened to the voice. And then he was like, yesterday when you sang, there was just something about you. He said, you have it all. I, I, the, the spirit of God is upon you. And it was that for me. That for me that whenever I open up my mouth and I worship my God, that when Pastor Ney recognized that when I was singing, for me, I was like, thank you. I can now go. Because it is all about God. The one person that gave me this voice, that gave me this gift, you know, and when he said that to me, hi guys, that grand, that grand, I was not said, right, and I was like, okay, thank you. And he was like, yeah, thank you guys. Hi, that's when, okay, we went outside and then we started taking pictures with them. And um, yeah, I got to meet two doctor too, me for the first time. I don't know why I did my voice, but yeah. And then I saw Dr. Two be there and then took pictures with him. So I got fun with too. It was real fun. So that's how the auditions went, guys. Then on my way back to Lucas flat, then God reminded me of my dream. And I started seeing everything, but ah, oh, Imani, the way that ooh, 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 the late Pastor Nazim was talking to me is the same person. So in fact, that dream was to prepare me of what was going to come. You know, it was God telling me that you're not going to get this. Yes, I have brought you this far, but it is not yours. And then that's when I started crying. And and Kali Swakukba, I did not win. I cried because I did not recognize what God was doing. And that's when I started to mind my dreams, you know, and not just wake up and rebuke, not knowing. You know, and then I thanked God. I started praying on my way to Gwaloko and I was like, yo, enko sibabu. Because I was so amazed. Why am I not hurt by this whole thing? Because in the grand, I was fine. Kandu Tiko had already prepared me. So that's the story, guys, of my um, auditions at Jovek. Um, one thing that I just want to point out is that Otiko has always had my back. And he is going to continue to do that. I am trusting and depending fully upon God. And I know a lot of people be like, so what's the next step when it comes to music? I don't know. I don't know. I really do not know. But I am praying and hoping that Utiko will pave the way so that, guys, I can share my gift with the world.
when the time is right, I, the Lord, will do it. Which is willing, guys. Stay blessed. Thank you so much. Guys.